How could knowing a little bit more about memory transform your teaching? Now, neuroscience shows that when we understand a little bit more about how we learn, it improves our ability to solve complex problems. Uh, so when I first started out as teaching many, many years ago, I had no idea about any of this stuff. And over the years, teaching myself more and more about, in, in this regard, um, short work in long-term memory, uh, episodic, semantic, eidetic, and so on and so forth, understanding a lot more about memory and how we process allows me to start to identify where in my classroom I might enhance knowledge retention and metacognition. So in this blog, uh, put simply, the differences in episodic and semantic memory. Uh, so let me just put this full size over here on this tab. This little bit of research gives you uh, a kind of a nice little introduction to the key differences. So put simply, your episodic memory are your personal experiences. So your birthday, your first car, where did you get married? Semantic memory is what we do in our classrooms developing that knowledge where we're developing concepts, rules and facts in our subjects. And the research explores how we can connect them both by developing that uh, semantic knowledge alongside our episodic experiences. So we'll all remember particular moments in our life, but we can remember specific events in our classrooms through some experiences when our neurons and senses are activated to help us really dig into the details of knowing a lot of information about stuff. So to find the blog really easy, a little bit of a mobile demonstration for you all this evening. Type in the word episodic in here. Let me just make sure you can all see that really clearly in the search bar. The first link here, this one here, the differences in episodic and semantic memory. And I hope you enjoy the research. Uh, thanks for watching.